Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy, and today we're going to do something with the Novation Circuit Rhythm. Um, I got asked by Mixed Off Music, who is a friend of mine from Germany. Um, he's become a friend of mine, I should say. We weren't always friends, but he was a he's a YouTuber, and he brings out new videos probably every other day or so of Dollis Jams. And he asked me to do a collab with him, and I said, yes, I would love to do a collab with you. However, as you know, I'm not Dollis. I am all about the DAW. Um, I do like doing some stuff without DAWs, and sometimes I have done a few videos like that in the past where I've linked up drum machines and, and uh, or TD3s from... Uh, Behringer and done some stuff with that where there's built-in sequences in, in but I don't have a lot of equipment like that but I do have my circuit rhythm and circuit tracks these two this device right here this is my circuit rhythm uh, has been quite the cool little device and now the only thing is I typically don't use it even I don't use this even dollars I use this as an instrument uh, attached to my DAW or as a controller on my DAW. Sometimes I have it hooked up and just use it as keys uh, when I'm on the road or whatever. But yeah, the thing is, I, I think this thing's great. And I really would like to do more dollar stuff with it. And this seems like a great opportunity to do that. Well, then I thought to myself, well, you know, other people are probably trying to do dollar stuff. I wonder if a tutorial showing people how to set up the Novation Circuit Rhythm for a live performance would help. Or... Uh, how to say, bring your samples over so that you can edit them and chop them up and create music on there from other sources. Uh, so I thought it'd be a good little tutorial to go through, and we're going to go through some of that right now. First, though, we got to go into Reason, because even though this is a Dollis project, I need to get my songs from somewhere, and Reason is my one of my DAWs that I use a lot, as you probably know if you've been part of this channel. So here we are in Reason. All right, now first you'll see that I have some tracks worked out here. Okay, now these are just kind of hanging out, doing not much. This is drums, these are monophonic, and this one up here has some chords in it. One thing about the circuit rhythm that's interesting is that it does not allow you to play chords. Now, technically, there are ways around that, which I'm gonna show you right now, but you can't play like, say, three keys at a time. You would have to play either bring the same instrument onto three channels, and play one on one channel, one on another channel, one on the third channel, and then you'd have three key chords, which is tedious as all get out to play that way. And it's you only have eight channels, so it's a huge waste of resources on there to do it that way. Uh, on the circuit tracks, you have an actual synthesizer on two of the channels, and that's kind of cool, and we'll, you can get around it that way but I'm I'm going strictly with the rhythm right now so so how do I get chords to play on here well it's easier than you think um, if you've messed around with trackers you might know what I'm gonna say already but I'll tell you trackers are also monophonic they have back in the day when I got it and there were only four channels on them <laughs> you could play four sounds at a time but you'd hear these complex songs you'd be like how the heck are they doing that i used to think it when i first heard it and then i started playing around with it and figured out what they were doing was sampling chords like a whole chord they'd sample instead of sampling one note they'd sample and they'd bring that in um and then they'd have these bits and pieces to call on because you could have a bunch of samples like 64 samples, something like that, at the old trackers. And on the uh, Circuit Rhythm, it's 128 samples per project. And you can synchronize them any way you want. You can play them as just, like, launched, or you can play them on a keyboard or whatever. But you can't play multiple notes simultaneously on the same channel. You can play only eight simultaneous notes, uh, or, or simultaneous keys, I should say, not notes. So to get around this, here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to take this this piece up here. This is the only one that has chords in it. So I'm just going to duplicate this right over here. And we're going to go in here. And you'll see that there aren't, there's not a heck of a lot of complexity going on here. I've got uh, three chords and one note. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to delete any repeating chords. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the chords. This is just the way I like to do it. Bring them over so they're each at the beginning of a measure okay um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this little arrow here and I'm gonna stretch them so they're half of a measure in length right four beats 
right there. That's, that's her right there. And now I'm gonna go back out of this. I'm gonna close this view. And you can see that I've got this going on right here. If you listen to it. Nothing really crazy, right? Now in Reason, this is this is how you do this in Reason. It will, it'll vary in different DAWs, basically. But if you right click this and I hit bounce in place, Underneath here, I'm going to end up with this, which is uh, it's the audio representation of what we just played. Right? Nice. Now that's a wave. What I can do next is I can uh, normalize this to get a little more volume out of it. I'm going to turn it down, though, just a wee bit because I'm not looking to give myself a headache or get clipping. So... That ought to do it right there. All right, now we've got this, the four chords. They're not playing what I want them to play, but there are, they're, sorry, three chords and one note, really, not four chords. I'm going to right-click this, and I'm going to hit Bounce again. This time, instead of bouncing in place, I'm going to say Bounce Clip to Disc. I'm going to save this sample out as Grand Piano, and then I tell it, you know, what I want. 44 kilohertz, 16-bit, perfect. Now the file is on my hard drive. What we need to do next is we need to go into Novation's software, which uh, is pretty awesome. This is it right here. It is called Components. It is available on their website. It is free if you have a Novation device. And it works only with Novation devices, so you wouldn't need it otherwise anyway. So <laughs> that makes sense, right? Um, so I'm going to go into my, my pack here. This is the Captain's Pack. This is one I'm building. It's just started today. This time, If you click the little up arrow... Under there, it opens. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my, my piano sound in here. Right now, we've got a uh, Euro bass type sound I was working with. All right, now I'm going to go upload a sound from, put it right here, I'd be sure I'm on the right thing. Upload from my hard drive. I'm going to grab the sample we just created, and I'm going to hit open audio file. All right, so now we've got the sound loaded. We've got these both loaded, actually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. I'm going to overwrite my other pack. And I'm going to send these to my circuit rhythm. I'm going to send the pack. This will take a minute. Now, you can just send the samples. I could have just sent the samples, and I probably should have just sent the samples. But just so you can see what I'm seeing, here we go. The circuit rhythm. Okay, we're done. There we go. Now they're all in there. Okay. All right, so now we've got my Euro bass. That's one sample. And here's the other one. But I... Don't want it to play the, those notes that way, you know. What I mean, on, on the piano anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm in sample mode. I want to press track one because that's where I want it to be. And I'm in sample mode. Like I said, hit it again, and you'll see that this menu comes up. If you hit it a couple times, sometimes it might be two times. Usually it's one, but hit it, it'll come up, and you'll see this. And down here, right now. This sample is on, would be on keys, which means if I go to it right now and go to notes, see what I'm saying? Not what we want, really. We want to play at the right pitch, and we also want a little more control over it so we can play the chords we want to play when we want to play them. So I'm going to go to chop mode. Hit this button right here. It'll say chop. This is a, oh, sorry, slice mode, not chop mode. Sorry. <laughs> slice, chop, dice. You know what I'm saying. It's all the same. Uh, and then there are three modes here to pick from. There is four slices, eight slices, or 16 slices. If I go for eight, just for giggles, we're going to go with eight for a minute. Now I'll go back to sample and hit note. You'll see that there are eight lights down the bottom here it cut that up into eight pieces so basically we've got the hit but then we got the tail separate oh there's the hit and there's the tail let's go back to sample mode here now, you'll also notice that this is on gated, which means you have to hold down the key for the whole thing. I'm going to hit one shot. That'll play the whole sound instead of just part of it. What we want to actually do, go back into sample mode again, is I'm going to hit four. There were four notes. They were mapped properly. So if we go over here, hit that. Now I hit note. It's 
now we've got this really cool thing we can do there, progression-wise. By using just one note, we have chords. So you just cut your chords up and put them in as one sample, and then you'd be good to go. Now, if you do want to play that piano still as a regular one key instrument, like you'd normally play a piano, um, what you would do now is you would go over here, go to channel two. There's our piano again, intact, right? Nothing happened to it. It's just sitting there. All right. I'm going to leave this time. It's on keys already. So if I go... That's great, except for that uh, we're playing these chords now. We don't want the chords. We just want the one piano. So what we do is we go to the top here, and there's a start and end uh, adjustment for your sample. Length adjustment. So I'm going to turn the length down until we get it right there. <laughs> but it's only one note, so you can't play chords with it, but you can play that one note. And one other trick, I'm going to go, we can do one more little trick on another channel with that same sample again. I'm going to assume you've heard old techno for a minute. Uh, you might not have, but uh, we're going to assume you have. So we're going to go note this time, and we're going to take this beginning... Uh, accident to bump into the tuning that's all right that gives me an opportunity to show you a really cool trick if you whack your tuning out and you're sitting there going oh man how do i ever find this i gotta sit and tweak till i find the right place for this all you've got to do is if you press the clear button and turn this knob to the right it'll turn blue if you turn it left it turns red that's like undo don't don't change the pitch leave it but i had it up there and i went and i pressed clear and i turned left it doesn't change it but if i press clear and i turn right it brings it back to default what it was so now we're back to normal but anyway old techno as i was saying Let's take this, and I'm going ahead so that it starts and plays the chord first. See what I'm saying? And then you can also adjust distortion uh, high and low pass filter and resonance. Yeah, but that's the whole trick. Um, so I'm going to be using this technique to create this song that I'm working with mixed off on. And basically <laughs> it's going to be really cool because when I'm done, I'll be able to take those sounds I have together. Yeah, I'll be able to take these and, and jam with them, sort of. Because I can take that one right there, and we're on another channel. We're on channel 4 right now. If I just go... That's it. Um, I think that's pretty cool because now I can just add more to that and uh, pretty much just jam a little bit over the top with a few little keys and be done. And then just record that and send it off to Mix Stuff and that'll be the next video. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And don't forget to turn on the alerts so that you'll know when the next video drops, and I will see you in the next one. Be safe. Hope that was helpful. Take care.